Alright, so today we're going to talk about five ways to get better at World War II Zombies. So number one, take it slow. This game is not a fast-paced game, especially in the beginning. I think round 1 to 15 takes forever, and everything after 15 starts to take forever too. Granted, I haven't really played with a small group before, like a two-player or a solo, but three and four-player, it takes forever ever for some reason in this game so yeah play slow have a plan go at it you know you don't have to like run through and do everything on round one uh take your time and and you'll make it you'll make it to the end number two upgrading the wonder weapon is a must now i haven't upgraded the wonder weapon yet i'm not sure how i looked up like like one video and i got like a few seconds in and everything i've learned on the map so far i've learned without looking up a video so like i got like a few seconds in and i was like nah i'm gonna see if i can do this myself i cannot do it myself so i think i'm gonna have to break my little not watching a video about the map here very soon and learn how to upgrade this wonder weapon because it is not good enough to just be a wonder weapon by itself. Um, it does not kill the zombies. Number two, or number three, run near a trap. So wherever you're gonna hoard up your zombies, try to make it near a trap because the wonder weapon's the only weapon that can kill the zombies after a certain point. The guns, we don't have double pack-a-punch that I know of yet. Um, and there's nothing else that can just kill the zombies at a high round. So it's going to have to be the wonder weapon. And whenever you run out of ammo, it's going to have to be a trap. So kind of position yourself around a trap. Um, I, I'm thinking of some new spots. I'm going to have a video of like the best spots to run here in a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I so far this game has been amazing but let me let me keep going number four grab a point gun now this one's very important for call of duty world at war because everything costs a lot of points especially the new jug system which is armor if you haven't played this game armor is replacing juggernaut you no longer get like five hits before you go down you get like five hits before you go down three times unless you're right at the end of the hit and then you get like one hit and you can go through all your shields you get like three shields five hits and and it's very confusing but i like it a little bit better except for the fact that whenever you are using jug and you finally like get up to 10 where it costs 10,000 it's 10,000 for the rest of the game so to buy jug at any point would be 10,000 points after you've bought it x amount of times um so you're definitely going to need some points to keep up your armor or jug whatever you want to call it and also you know you're not really having to buy perks a lot because if your teammates can revive you before you go down then 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 you're pretty good but other than that we're going to go right in with number five, run wide hordes. I've noticed in this game, if you run really tight hordes, um, you can, like, like they jump or something. It's like they do something weird, and you can get hit, especially around the big guys that have the huge arms, although those are really easy to kill if you shoot them in the back. Um, you can die. You can die really quickly. And the thing is, is once your health gets all the way down to, like, the little bit and you start losing armor you can lose multiple armor at one time so if you're running a real tight horde and you're trying to get around a corner you could lose all of your health right there you could die just like that so be careful with that run your hordes wide run near a trap you know take it slow upgrade the wonder weapon and always have a point gun and always be making points those are my five tips for world of war 2 zombies um I will be coming out with more tips for this game, I will be doing more gameplays of this game, and like I said, I probably will be having some strategy video come out very soon for this map, and also for the house, which I need to figure out how to unlock on, um, like, just regular, so I can play with my friends, but I can always play it solo whenever you go to local play, so that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I've really, really, really been enjoying this game. I don't know what I like more, zombies or multiplayer, it's all good to me. They've done a really good job this year. Um, I will be having a review of the game come out soon, so be looking forward to that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.